Uh, well, let's see. Uh, Zach uh, writes for the manga. And then he hands it to me and says, okay, you do the rest. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, well, uh, in one way it's kind of nice because you know exactly what's coming up next. You know, you already know the whole story and, uh, what to put into it and everything. Uh, you know, it's all been done for you. Uh... The only problem is when someone tells you, you see in this story, that there's this action scene. Let's say a good example, and I won't give too much of it away or anything, but you have a guy do something like uh, rip off another guy's head, um, holding onto the spinal cord and swinging it around, uh, knocking other heads off of people. Or, you know, things like that. And you look at that and you read that and you're like, How in God's name am I going to draw that? Oh my God. And then I, I cry and I pee myself and then I do it. Not to work with Zach. Uh, hopefully till, uh... The day that I die, because uh, as much as uh, pain at times it can be, at the same time, it's the most rewarding type of thing that I've ever done. Uh, and you just have fun, and for some reason it always eases me, relaxes me when I do it, and do nothing but think about it while I'm everywhere else. So, you know, all my girlfriends uh, tend to get annoyed at that. And, and this one we're working on now. Yeah. Uh, for anybody that's uh, wanting to do a manga and a good way to promote it, sell it, do whichever, uh, probably uh, one of the best ways, uh, I suppose. You know, find out which publisher you want to uh, get send it to. Uh, find out their criteria for submissions what they want to do and things like that realize that you'll probably be selling your soul uh and uh but uh you get to do it and draw all day uh plus you have to make sure that you are willing to be open to different ideas uh to work with other people uh working with a partner is a really great idea when you're starting out uh just because you get you know you tend to when you lose a bit of motivation for a while they still got theirs and pick you up and then you do the same for them uh, and you also can criticize each other and make sure you have one that is actually honest with you uh, and that will actually let you know whether he thinks something's good or whether it's not working right or something like that and believe me uh, me and Zach's relationship is certainly in that way <laughs> I've had so many pages where I was excited and I brought it to him and I was like hey how do you think this one's gonna go? He's like, good God, I hate it. Do it over again. And then I, I, I cry and I pee a little and then I, uh, I, I do. Tips or advice? Ah, uh, for one, get the right equipment. Uh, you may think that all of these, uh, comic book greats and everything that they just draw some stuff on a some sketchbook paper that you buy in Walmart that's 8 by 11 and you know is made of this real thin weak kind of paper and stuff and uh, you know that and they do it all in pencil and send it off no 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 uh, this in, this involves uh, you know getting the right equipment uh, Bristol board paper is the pretty much the standard in a lot of the ways. Uh, most of the time, many action or whatever comic artists tend to work on like 11 by 17, 11 by 14. Some even use copier paper, but I suppose that's after you've reached a certain point. Maybe I don't really know. Uh, but get ink, uh, get real ink. Uh, no ballpoint pen stuff. I mean, come on. Uh, this isn't school. You know, 
drawing stuff in school here. Uh, get a real pen, uh, particularly one with India ink. Uh, if you want to do manga, you're probably going to have to get a G pen and some other types of crow quills, things like that. You know, play around with them. Uh, get India ink. It's the blackest kind of ink. It's sure, it's everything. And uh, plenty of whiteout. And do a lot of stuff and screw up a lot. And uh, that way you'll actually learn more about what you need to do. Say goodbye to the people. Goodbye to the people.